हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई वेरी फर्स्ट ब्लॉग ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम कौशल एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर माई फर्स्ट ब्लॉग इन दिस ब्लॉग आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस डैट आई एक्सपीरियंस इन द कैनेडा स्पेशली इन द कॉलेज ऑफ न्यू कैलेडोनिया इन द प्रिंस जोर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट स्टार्ट द वीडियो विद द इंट्रोडक्शन हाय माई नेम इज कौशल आई एम इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम इंडिया I am pursuing tourism and hotel management two year course in the College of New Caledonia in the Prince George campus. In India I had done my graduation in simple art. After that I had done one year of post graduate diploma in computer application. Then I decided to go to Canada for my higher study so I chose post graduate diploma in tourism and hotel management. In this section I am going to discuss my reasons for choosing canada especially the prince george well there is no specific reason for choosing prince george but i can say that canada was in my number one choice for my higher studies there are many reasons like canada is the hub of the indian community that was the main reason for choosing canada because personally personally i like to get engaged with my roots that is why i choose canada Now let's talk about my dream location that is Brampton in Ontario. Firstly I chose the Lambton College in Mississauga which is quite near to the Brampton but unfortunately I got refusal from that college. After that I applied in the CNC in the Prince George campus and this time I got visa. That was the main reason today I am in the Prince George. Now let's talk about the life at College of New Caledonia. As a student of College of New Caledonia, I can say that this college is a very good college with good infrastructure. It has been three months that I am studying there. Especially the teachers there are very helpful and friendly. The most important point for this college is that the tuition fees. That the tuition fees in this college are quite affordable. In this context, I am comparing the fees with the Lambton College that is in the GTA. I think it is a, a budget friendly college. Now let's talk about my daily routines in the Canada. I usually wake up around 7 o'clock in the morning and after doing my primary tasks like bathing, I prepare my breakfast and go to the college for attending the classes. Because most of the classes are scheduled in the morning, after attending classes I return to home and have my lunch. Then after taking a small nap I do my all assignments and in the evening I generally go to the park near to my house with my friend Let's move to the next section that is balancing work and personal life I can say that as a student especially the international student it is a very challenging task to balance the work life with the studies but i am not working and i have to focus on the studies only so i am not facing any problem in balancing work and personal life but i can, i saw many of my friends who are doing the part time jobs along with their studies they facing many difficulties like they are not able to attend classes on time and also many of are not able to submit their college assignments on the time and i think that uh, there are many difficulties which a student is facing as a international student in this section i'm going to talk about the experience and my thoughts about the prince george in the canada i can say that i have the mixed thoughts about the canada especially the prince george city let's go with the merits living in the prince george city firstly the house rent in the prince george are quite cheap I can say that uh, house rents are quite affordable. And second one is the less population. It is best for the people who prefer to live in a peaceful city. Now let's move around move to the drawbacks of living in the Prince George. Firstly, as I, I said that it is a very small city and there are very less job opportunity for the students. And I think it is the main drawback of living in the city especially the small city like the prince george and also due to the small city it is not possible to get the proper exposure of real canada for example i can say that 
द प्रिंसिपल इज लाइक अ डिवेलपिंग कंट्री लाइक इंडिया बिकॉज आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द प्रोपर फील ऑफ कैनेडा इन द प्रिंसिपल आई विल प्रेफर टू मूव टू जी टी ए साइड लाइक टोनो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग माई स्टडी मूव टू द फाइनल सेक्शन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉग इन दिस सेक्शन आई एम गिविंग द एडवाइस फॉर द प्रोस्पेक्टिव स्टूडेंट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव एडवाइस टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर कमिंग टू कॉलेज ऑफ न्यू कैलिडोनिया वी अवेयर डैट दे विल डेफिनेटली फेस मैनी प्रॉब्लम इन गेटिंग जॉब्स देयर आल दो इट इज़ अ क्वाइट अफोर्डेबल कॉलेज एंड विद अ हायर वीजा सक्सेस रेट इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सर्वाइव इफ यू विल नॉट गेट एनी टाइप ऑफ जॉब आई सा मैनी मैनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट चेंज दिस कॉलेज बिकॉज ऑफ लेस जॉब ऑपरचुनिटीज इन द प्रिंसिपल हाउवर इफ यू आर नंबर वन प्रियोरिटी इज स्टडिंग एंड लिव इन अ पीसफुल सिटी विच इज द प्रिंसिपल माइट बी द बेस्ट ऑप्शन फॉर यू थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर वॉचिंग दिस ब्लॉग आई होप इट विल हेल्प द अपकमिंग स्टूडेंट्स टू नो मोर अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल स्पेशली द कॉलेज ऑफ न्यू कैलेडोनिया